Does your guys' workspace look something like this? Then we should probably fix that. Let's get right into how we can do that. So how can we fix this workspace that we have here? And it's just a whole bunch of unnamed, unorganized mumbo. How can we fix this? Well, the first, the, the most basic thing you guys can do is make folders for your Roblox game in your workspace to organize stuff. This goes for every everything, every service, anything that you put stuff inside of. Use folders to organize stuff. Okay, now I'm just going to be using what I have here. I'm also going to be organizing a map that is unorganized if I can find one in the toolbox. But use folders. Name your folders. If you have something like lights, then you can put your point lights, your lights, or anything like that inside of your folders. Just the most basic thing you can do to organize your game. Use folders to put different stuff inside of if you have different types of folders like a spotlight um so you can have spotlights in one folder and point lights in another folder and put your point lights in here and have your spotlights in there so you have your point lights in one folder your spotlights in another and using folders it already makes it look better same thing if we insert a folder and we do our scripts we can call this scripts and if we really wanted to we can have the another folder in there and get the different types of scripts like server oh. so this can be module module scripts this can be servers server scripts and we can have both of our scripts in the server and our module scripts and that if you guys see where I'm going here use folders to clear up some of the mess now the next part of the issue is not knowing what is what in your Roblox game alright cuz there here I have two decals and I don't know which ones which so that's where we can get into naming your objects say this was a face decal a happy face I could say happy face and that's all you have to do is to just name it just call a happy face and in your other decal name it something like if it was a pet face pet face idol make sure you name these objects something that you will remember and something that best fits what that object is representing in your game another part of the issue is deciding where things go where in your roblox game now parts and everything physical and models and parts and stuff and lights that are physical you can see in game should go in the workspace but we have stuff like these server scripts these don't need to be here in the workspace you can instead put these in the server script service because that's where they belong so and let's say this module script was a was a server module that's gonna be used by the server we can put that in there too put stuff where they will be used and stuff like local scripts you'd put here too another local script and put stuff where they would be usually used in your game so like stuff like local scripts would be put under starter player starter player scripts also replicated first replicated storage starter pack stuff like that starter GUI don't just have it leaving out in the workspace because that adds to who the damage um, and trying to fix it Stuff like values can be, I guess they could be stored under objects and stored in replicated storage. Um, decals, they should stay under parts and textures so you know that this decal or texture is a part of what part. Roblox even helps you organize your games. I have some stuff in replicated storage. I don't think you guys can see this, but let me make it so you can. There is the frequently used section when you click on a service and it shows the frequently used objects that are used in that service. This helps you a ton. Roblox is basically giving you the objects that are in certain services. There are lots of things contributing to, unor to your game not being organized and one of those things is putting stuff in the wrong place. So this is really helpful because in replicated storage, the most often frequent things you will see in the service is remote events, 
um, remote functions, if you use those, they those are sometimes can be bad, but that's another video. <laughs> um, um, folders and module scripts. These are actually, like, from making games in my experience, these are actually the most frequently used items for replicated search. Replicated first would maybe be like something like local scripts. Yeah, because local scripts are something you want to run right away before the server gets fully loaded in. Server script service, module scripts, folder scripts, stuff that would only be handed on, handled on the server. This is self-explanatory. Server storage, I recommend to not put anything in server storage or not too many things. This is because server storage, it, when you put too many stuff in it, like something like tools, it really lags your game. So I avoid putting stuff in server storage because it can, again, from my last video, if you didn't watch that, it can add stress to the server when the server is handling stuff. And if I'm being honest with you, starter GUI should only hold screen GUIs and um, user interface. You can use uh, folders too. Or make sure you're using the folders. Um, you can use local scripts and scripts and that, but it makes it a little bit weird because um, starter GUI is meant for user interface stuff. But you can do that too. Starter pack, only tools. I usually put animations and the scripts and tools and stuff inside of the tool. So, like, instead of having a tool and having all this extra stuff in the, outside of the tool that are still contributing, I would usually put it in the tool. Because um, that just makes it easier. Again, adds to the organizing. As far as starter player goes, really, in these two services, you should only be really putting local scripts in here. Because um, these are basically running on the client, and those are mainly the locations. Serv or local scripts usually go in those locations. So some of the main things for organizing: use folders and name your folders. Um, so basically, use folders um, and put them in the appropriate places. Store those objects in those folders. I'd recommend putting like instances together in the same folder. So, like, for an example, I wouldn't put a texture and a value in the same folder, except you, if you were making, like, a miscellaneous type thing. But uh, I wouldn't combine those two. Stick to having one folder be one object, another folder be another, and only house those certain objects. Again, name every single item you make and rename that item to something that best fits it that um you will read and immediately it'll click in your head that's that object um that's what i'm looking for and the last thing that i mainly covered was put your objects in the correct places because that'll make it easier when you think of workspace what comes to my head is parts models stuff like that even folders textures, stuff like that, actual physical stuff you can see in game. That's kind of basically what you should be thinking too. When you think of a certain service in something in the Explorer, you should think of that of those objects that best fit in those places. And yeah guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys liked this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.